Today in the spotlight, the magician and illusionist who is leaving the whole Toronto in an awe. Oh, no! okay. okay, take a look. Take a look. Raman Sharma spent three years learning magic from his guru Christerius, after which he was well equipped to travel the world showcasing magical tricks and routines in his own style. Raman also manages his own YouTube channel, Raman Sharma Magic. So let's shine the spotlight on his magical journey. Raman, thank you so much for being here. It's I can my absolute pleasure. I can already feel the magic in the air. Same here. It's a really <laughs> magical set. Now as someone who is so into thrillers, mysteries, horror, and who has grown up watching Chris Angels, I am so excited to talk to you and get to know all about your magical journey so far. I'm excited to tell you all about it. Now, first of all, tell me, um, how did you find the motivation or where did you find the motivation to get to learn magic? To be quite honest with you, I had no interest in becoming a magician. I didn't even know what magic was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I just stumbled upon it Later on, I was in my mid-twenties, and uh, I ended up going to Las Vegas with a couple of friends. And uh, I saw this magician just take his scarf off on the street, and he made three pigeons come out of it. And I was like, what? Wow. And like, how? <laughs> right? And next thing you know, I just it just became like an addiction. I needed to find out. Now, were there a lot of failures? Were there days where you were like, this is just not happening? Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was my second big show I did. It was in front of 900 people. Yeah. And uh, the effect was I had a ball. I was going to throw the ball to the audience, but the ball was going to turn into a bird, yeah. fly out and come back to me. I had rehearsed many times. Uh -huh. The bird always came back. During the live performance, he just flew away and he landed on some auntie's head. Okay. And then the auntie started screaming. <laughs> yeah. Right? So uh, I had to go get the bird, meaning leave the stage. It was mm -hmm. really unprofessional. And I remember I called my mentor. I'm like, you know, this, this is not for me. I yeah. can't do this. And, yeah. you know, it, it really, it was really a setback. <laughs> yeah. But you recovered, obviously. Yeah. You, you know, just like when you fall off a horse, you got to get back on it. It's the That's same true. thing. You mess up, go ahead. And you, you learn from the mess up. Mm -hmm. So now... My birds never fly away. Okay. Anymore, sure <laughs> and they come back to you. They always come back to me. Okay, great. Now, I was reading about you and I read that you perform around the globe in front of these big multi um, multinational companies. Uh, so how has your experience been working at such a large scale? At first, it was really like scary. Mm -hmm. uh, my first uh, multinational company I did was Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, I think it's owned by Mott's. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was just really, really scared because, you know, finally, like, they were paying big money and they were yeah. expecting big things. Yeah. So uh, I think it was the first time I did it, the first minute or two, I was super nervous, but then I just sort of got into my element uh -huh. and everything was good. And uh, since then, yeah, you know, I've had the pleasure of working for companies like, uh, you know, Coca-Cola, Nestle, um, Clark's Shoes, and, uh, and whatnot. Um, I was also very lucky to find an agent mm -hmm. who got me clients who were in different countries. So yeah. they were able to fly me out and I was able to perform over there, yeah. which was awesome because, um, you know, I never thought I would get to do something I love and get paid for it. Yeah. And I'd get to travel all in one package. Now, apart from magic, uh, we also know that you make funny videos in collaboration with the YouTube um, star Rupin Bell. So how did that happen? Actually, what happened is um, I got a phone call from Rupin. He had gotten some material and he had found out how I'm doing a lot of my tricks. Uh -huh. So he kind of blackmailed me and said, you need to come to my channel. And he That's made me sign true. a contract. <laughs> I'm just kidding, actually. I'm just joking. Uh, with Rupin, uh, no, he's just, you know, like my little brother. Uh, you know, we ended up meeting uh, through a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we met for half an hour. And then half an hour later, we filmed a skit on his channel called uh, Magical Proposal. Yeah. And, you know, just there was a kind of a connection. Yeah. Became really tight. And now, even uh, for my magic, I always discuss it with him. I'm like, dude, what do you think about this mm -hmm. or this effect? Sometimes he'll tell me, it's it's horrible, don't do it. Yeah. And I listen to him, um, you know, and other times he'll, he'll come up with, he'll come up with ideas himself. Mm -hmm. You should do something like this. He came up with an idea where I would do an escape yeah. I'd be tied from the ceiling with rope and I'd be sprayed with a, a rat scent and I have to escape before these three pythons come and they construct me. Oh my god. So this is, uh, you know, a, a pilot that we're working on, but he came up with that idea. Yeah. And, you know, I used it. So, yeah, no, we become... Does really he not love you? Oh, he's got a lot of love for me. <laughs> but, you know, he knows... He knows he's uh, throwing you in he, the middle of snakes. I, I think he knows himself that, like, you know, to, to 
you know, you got to be unique. You got to be different. Just you like got to be exceptional. Exactly. And that's how he is on his channel. If you look, uh -huh. I mean, it's his uh, comedy and stuff. Uh, or even a serious acting, it's yes. it's different, you uh -huh. know, so. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't know about all trades, but you're definitely the master of magic and comedy. It's very um, thank you. What are some of the future projects that are coming up that we can look forward to? We're uh, currently pitching an idea, uh, hopefully a network will pitch it, uh, pick it up, yeah. where we, we want to mix magic and death defying stunts, mm -hmm. uh, along with poetry and make this TV show that's, that's never been made. Yeah, yeah we've, uh, we're actually, we filmed it, it's been a, a year, and mm -hmm. everything is original. Uh, there's no tricks that have been done by, like, let's say, Chris Angel or other magicians out there. Yeah. It's all original because that's what we wanted. We don't want people coming in and being like, we've seen that before. Yeah. So uh, we've worked a really, really hard for the last 10 months, mm -hmm. and now we are we're basically have everything, and now the hard process starts where we have to pitch it to production companies, and networks and uh, you know God willing uh, we could have our own TV show okay well I hope someone gets their hand on it because that's pure gold thank you so much now Raman it's just not practical to have a magician sitting right here and not ask him to do something we would love it if you can show us something I would absolutely love to um, for a lot of people they can't leave their house with their without their wallet or their their phone uh -huh. me I have to have a deck of cards with me everywhere okay. I go so we're gonna try something with cards and I do have a full deck. In fact, these cards even have the jokers in them. I'm so excited. So I'll, I'll show it to the camera. <laughs> full deck of cards. And Ayushi, I'll have you take a look too. Yeah. Every yeah. single card is different. Yeah. It's very clean and new. Yeah, so it, was a, it was a brand new deck. I just picked yeah. it up actually on the way here. Now, I want to be completely fair with you. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut the deck like this. And I'm just going to riffle down like so. Yeah. The minute you say stop, I'm going to stop right at your command. OK. OK, anytime you want. You don't need a pen or anything. No, no, okay, no, okay. not at all. OK. Stop. Right here? Yeah. Go ahead, take a look at that card. I'll have you take a look at it. I'll have you show the camera. I won't look, though. OK. Now, Ayushi, we haven't set this up, right? No. Now, I'm, you've got the card facing you? Because I'm going to mm -hmm. turn around now. Yeah. Right? I'm going to ask you, are you happy with this card? I'm very happy with this Do you want to keep it or change it? Uh, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. So this have you hold it up to you. Now, I gave you a chance to change it, so I think it's fair to say it. it's impossible for me to know what that card is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to look at you, and there's four suits in a deck of cards. There's this heart, spades, clubs, and diamonds. Yeah. I'm just going to look at you, and I'm going to say them. I want you to try to give me your best poker face. We'll go hearts, diamonds, spades, clubs. Hearts, diamonds, spades, clubs, hearts. See, you're kind of smiling when you say hearts, <laughs> okay. right? Okay. So I'm guessing your card has a heart. Yeah. On it. it does have a heart, yeah. right? So now it's either a number card or a face card. A face okay. card is like the queen of hearts. <laughs> right? It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, a, a face card has like a queen, a jack, a king, an ace on it. Number obviously has a number. So I'm just going to look at you and go number, face, and you blinked right when I said number. So it's got to be a number. So now it could, be, so hard. It, it could be any card from yeah. the two of hearts to the ten of hearts. Uh-huh. Now, I'm going to actually use my own heart to find your card. And it sounds kind of weird. In movies and in cartoons, they always show the heart being here. Yeah. But in the reality, actual heart, yeah. it's actually right in the center. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. right about here. Now, um, before I continue, I just got a bit of an embarrassing story. I actually slipped and fell into mud while we were coming here. Oh, really? Yeah. No, Are I you said, okay? No, I'm good. Okay. Right? That's why I, I ended up picking this like cheap... Uh, kind of like shirt from a, a discount shop oh. because my other shirt got really dirty. Oh. Now, I was like covered in mud, right? And I got most of it cleaned. Mm -hmm. But I left one spot that it, it's not really clean. It's actually on my physical heart. And you can see it's actually the seven right there on top of my heart. I don't know if you, you guys can oh check that God. out. Right? So seven of hearts. And let's see your card. It's a seven of hearts. And you got to change that. How did you do that? <laughs> that is not possible. That uh, my mind's blown. Raman, thank you so much for showing us that trick, and thank you so much for being here. It was my absolute pleasure. I had a blast. You truly made the spotlight magical today. Thank you so very much. And to everyone watching, if you haven't subscribed to Raman's YouTube channel yet, please do so as soon as possible. But wait, I must warn you, your mind will get blown. So just be careful. Till next time, I'm Ayushi Sharman. Keep the magic alive. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.